On January 22, 2020, a project got underway that had been many years in the planning, involving careful forest management and consultation with wildlife biologists. A cluster of artificial cavity boxes were inserted in five longleaf pines at Silver Bluff Audubon. With luck, they will soon be inhabited by red cockaded woodpeckers, a federally endangered species. Uh, we're out here today at the Audubon Society to help uh, hopefully get established a red cockaded woodpecker community here. Um, the good thing is the Audubon Society is in close proximity to the Savannah River site where we have roughly um, 152 clusters there, um, over 100 active uh, colonies there now. So hopefully with the work that Audubon Society is doing here now that hopefully one of, some of our birds will come over um, and make a great habitat for them here, expand the RCW community. Typically, we like to use a 60 to 70 year old longleaf pine with a diameter of at least 16 inches. It can take a red cockaded woodpecker several years to excavate a nesting cavity. It will take him about 15 minutes. Scraping the bark serves several purposes. It helps the bird find a tree. It makes it easy for the bird to make a sap flow to deter predators and the bare surface also will allow the paint to adhere better. He traces the box on the tree so he knows what cuts to make. These boxes are made of eastern red cedar and have a wire mesh on the front to discourage other species from enlarging the holes. Next he uses his chainsaw to cut out the shape of the box in the tree. This doesn't hurt the tree since he's only taking out a small part of the cambium layer. There are lines on the saw to let him know how deep to go. He makes two vertical cuts and five horizontal cuts. Now he uses a wedge to pop out each block individually. He puts the box in to make sure it fits. He puts wood shims in around the box to secure the box in the tree and fill in the gaps to make sure water doesn't come in on the sides. He uses exterior wood putty to seal the box and cover up any gaps. This extends the life of the boxes which will last four to five years before they need to be replaced. Now he sprays brown paint on the front of the box. The idea is to make it as natural looking as possible. He creates some holes around the tree to encourage sap flow. This will act as a visual cue to the red cockaded woodpeckers who will enlarge these resin wells around their cavity to discourage predators. He uses white spray paint to simulate sap flow in an effort to draw in any red cockaded woodpeckers who might be flying through. The hope is that the red cockaded woodpeckers flying from neighboring populations at SRS, Fort Gordon, or Hitchcock Woods will take up residence here. Two white bands are painted around the base of the tree to make it easier to find the tree for monitoring. The job is done, now we wait for the birds. Uh, inserts are already in, all we need to do is cross our fingers. <laughs> 